time BYB Extreme fans. Great to have you with us here for a tremendous night of fights. Dave Ryan alongside the Hall of Fame fighting commentator Al Bernstein and Dada 5000 founder of BYB Extreme. Al, this is going to be immediate confrontation tonight. It really is. You know, I've done a lot of different kind of combat sports over the years, but this one is unique because the nature of the, the ring they fight in dictates the action. The Trigon is a small space, uniquely conformed, and when you add that to the fighting spirit of the fighters and their natural aggressiveness, you end up getting a lot of action, and that's what fans are going to see. We can't wait to see that. Dada 5000, this is your event. This is your product. Tell us about the history. How did this all get started? Wow, down inside the mean streets of Miami-Dade County, the 305, you know, and we revolutionized the way that the world look at extreme reality. And when you look at the mighty Trigon, it's designed to promote confrontation, finish fights, never leave it inside the hand of the judges. We are scheduled, Al, as we check the rules for five three-minute rounds, but I doubt it's going to go that far, right? Yeah, not always, no. Um, and some of these rules are, are unique. Some will look a little bit like boxing. Obviously, four-ounce gloves required, but your knuckles will be exposed, hence bare knuckles boxing. Uh, no three knockdown rule is in effect, and a 10-point scoring system much like boxing. The winner gets 10 points, the loser nine or less. Now, punching in the clinch allowed, what that means is that much more latitude is given to the fighters then in a boxing match you can pull your opponent's head in to help you punch there are things that are allowed in that clinch that you will not see in a boxing match and the referee and the doctor can stop the match thanks al byb extreme is brought to you in part by epic disposable vape made from tobacco free nicotine by Estrella insurance car insurance lowest prices guaranteed by Boost Oxygen, professional-grade supplemental oxygen without a prescription. And by Diesel Physique, scientifically proven to add muscle mass. The air we breathe contains only 21% oxygen gas. The other 78% of it is nitrogen gas. Did you know oxygen supplementation can be the most immediate and effective fuel source for aerobic recovery, rejuvenation, and performance? Whether you're looking to break the world record for the 800 meter or simply break the internet, Boost Oxygen makes supplemental oxygen readily accessible. Boost Oxygen. Help is here. Experience good, clean, fun. Meet the clean team. Cleaning and sanitizing all common areas and high touch surfaces every 30 minutes. Contactless digital menus available at all our restaurants. Screening and temperature checks taken upon entry. Hand sanitizing stations throughout the property. Masks or cloth face coverings required. Physical distancing. Your safety and protection are first priority, which begins prior to your arrival. You'll arrive to a sealed room, exactingly prepared to ensure your safety and protection for your peace of mind. So you can relax and enjoy yourself. More space between slot machines, gaming chips sanitized, as well as all slots, tables, and chairs. We are dedicated to keeping you safe and sound. We used to travel and go places. Not anymore. She's always complaining. Now he just watches TV. I want to go out. I just want a slightly bigger TV, and she says it's too expensive. Oh, he acts like a know-it-all, but he doesn't even know how much we could be saving with Estrella Insurance and their little prices. Their prices are little, huh? Just like you. Nope, little like you. We're the biggest and the best. Get reliable coverage at the lowest prices from top insurance providers. Don't make your next payment without checking with Estrella Insurance first. Okay, I'll tell of the tape, Martinez Fletcher head to head. Yeah, this is interesting. While Fletcher is going to be by far the heavier fighter, there are two things that those numbers don't show. Albert Martinez is a lefty and he has a big edge in quickness. To the Trigon, back to Bob Alexander. And now ready to make his age from the blue corner, Billy Bass. Robert Fletcher, full name. Park Rapids, Minnesota. Ready to fight. He's waiting for the music. <laughs> <laughs> we'll lead him in. Here we go. 
You know, I think that uh, he is a Muay Thai fighter, and I believe that Muay Thai fighters in this bugs, and that could be a game changer. So Fletcher's ready. Let's meet his opponent tonight. And now, ready to make his way to the Trigon from the red corner, Albert Speedy Martinez. Go ahead, baby. Let's go. Valdosta, Georgia, his hometown. Boxing coach. One of his day jobs. Well, it's nighttime in Cheyenne. It's fight time for this guy, right? Definitely. He's ready. He's going to show the world what he's made of. And he is uh, five and two as an MMA fighter, so he he brings that skill set to this uh, endeavor. And you know, his trainer Cameron uh, Deville really stresses defense, and it's a misnomer to think that in that small area you can't still stress defense, and defense does play a role, doesn't it? Definitely. And you, you better have good footwork because you're inside of an environment that footwork plays a big part. Three-time U.S. Army champion. Unbeaten seven years, more than 20 KOs. So Al, freestyle fighter, which means? It means he's, you know, does a little bit of everything. And uh, uh, and I, I, well, I think what you're going to see from him is, uh, though, a good skill set. He's he has a, a good skill set as a as a fighter, uh, and and I think this 31 year old is maybe a, on a road to getting better and better. And I think you're going to see him get better and better as he continues in this venue. The brawl for it all in Cheyenne, Wyoming, rolls on. It's evolution of combat sports era here in the mighty Trigon. It is such a small fighting area. So, you have immediate confrontation. Back to the Trigon. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in beautiful Cheyenne, Wyoming, our first bout of the evening is brought to you by BYB Extreme Fighting Series and GetPureAndNatural.com. This bout scheduled for five three-minute rounds of bare-knuckle brawling in the bantamweight division. The three judges scoring at cage side, Janelle Mellish, Josh Johnson, and Tom Milstead. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks. He weighed in at 146 pounds, an international Muay Thai champion with 20 Muay Thai fights from Park Rapids, Minnesota, here is Billy Bass. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the silver trimmed with greatness. He is weighing in at 143.8 pounds. His professional record as an MMA fighter, five wins, two losses a three-time U.S. Army champion, unbeaten for seven years with more than 20 knockouts. From Valdosta, Georgia, here is Albert Speedy Martinez. Referee David Braslow will now give instructions. All right, gentlemen, come to center. All right, guys, you're given the rules in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck. Ready to go. To the Trigon. It's going to be immediate confrontation. It always is. Will it go five rounds? Tom, Tom, Probably not. Tom, good? <laughs> I doubt it. Never do. Robert Fletcher from Park Rapids, Minnesota. It's northern Minnesota. Not too far from the Canadian border. Small town. Martinez, Valdosta, Georgia. All right, gentlemen. Ready to go head-to-head right head here. here. Right there. Can't run, you, you can't hide. You got to fight. Right, you roll. better fight. 
Martinez makes contact early. Mm. Wow. 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 responds, but he's hurt. You see what we talked about, the brawling of Fletcher against the more precision counterpunching of Martinez. Mm. That was a solid one. Martinez, the extensive boxing background we told you about. The lefties looking to uncoil. Whoa, whoa. Don't hit him on the ground. Give your hands. Yeah. Right. okay. Let's resume. Mm. Mm. Whoa. You good? Martinez staggers again. Fletcher was able to land one of those right hands, but it, it, the punches are so wide and awkward. Whoa. But that one got that connected out, no question. Fletcher realizes it, goes in for the kill. And he walked into a counter left hand, and that I think stunned Fletcher. Oh, Jay Martinez, a little rebound in this very eventful first round. Mm. The straight left of Martinez has hurt Fletcher on a couple of occasions. We'll see if he can continue to use it. Fletcher is fearless. Whoa, wild punches. The flurry continues from each fighter. Fletcher, the head down. He's vulnerable now. This is anybody's fight at this moment. Stop, 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 stop. His, his mouthpiece. Wow, mouthpiece, mouthpiece out for now. Go over there. Go for Fletcher Guys, has been easy. lucky. He's been able to, to land some punches walking in with literally zero defense. I mean, he, you know, he has not even thought about moving his head, and he's been hit with some counter left hands. We'll see if he can continue to, uh, to hit the lottery in that regard. Oh, we're there. Pretty incredible. He's upright right now. Yeah. It's reckless, but it's worked. Whoa. Not that time. Connection for Martinez. Fletcher, a firefighter, his full-time job. Into the corner. He's okayed now. Trying to avoid a KO. Watch it. To his knees. Martinez connects again. Another straight left hand. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. The count. That's it. It's over. Whoa. It's called by David Braslow, our referee in Cheyenne. And Robert Fletcher's night comes to an end. Albert Speedy Martinez out. A little too quick at the end of that first round. He was indeed more too precise, too good at counterpunching for Fletcher, whose defense was very porous. Martinez, the victory in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Robert Fletcher unable to continue in the first round. Official decision next. What's going on everybody? Daniel Sullivan here with My Diesel Physique and I'm super excited to announce that we have a new program that's going to complement the My Diesel Physique Challenge and it's all about building size and muscle. These methods are tried and true. I currently use these on my NFL football players, MLB baseball players, professional bodybuilders and UFC fighters. These principles work for them. It's going to work for you. If you're an everyday gym goer and you're trying to build size, strength, and mass, and you're just not seeing the results that you want, I have put together a program that scientifically proves how to build that mass, size, and strength with the workouts, with the nutrition. Let me coach you to get you to that next level. Let's build some muscle. We used to travel and go places, not anymore. She's always complaining. Now he just watches TV. I want to go out. I just want a slightly bigger TV. She says it's too expensive. He acts like a know-it-all, but he doesn't even know how much we could be saving with Estrella Insurance and their little prices. Their prices are little, huh? Just like you? Nope, little like you. 
We're the biggest and the best. Get reliable coverage at the lowest prices from top insurance providers. Don't make your next payment without checking with Estrella Insurance first. The air we breathe contains only 21% oxygen gas. The other 78% of it is nitrogen gas. Did you know oxygen supplementation can be the most immediate and effective fuel source for aerobic recovery, rejuvenation, and performance? Whether you're looking to break the world record for the 800 meter or simply break the internet, Boost Oxygen makes supplemental oxygen readily accessible. Boost Oxygen. Help is here. Winner by TKO, 223, round one, Albert Martinez from Valdosta, Georgia, takes it back to the Trigon. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for both brawlers, please. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming, your referee, David Braslow calls a halt to the bout at two minutes, 23 seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO, Albert Speedy Martinez. Al, I thought the boxing background really showed in terms of the technician that Albert Speedy Martinez is and led to his victory. Absolutely true, Dave. And the fact that he's a boxing coach, you can see that. Good movement, lands the good straight lead left hand. Fletcher squared himself up for most of this fight. His defense was porous, and Martinez took advantage. Wow. Solid left hand. Ends the night of Robert Fletcher. Back to Dada, 5,000 in the Trigon. Martinez, you came inside here and you lived up to your nickname, Speedy. Did you do everything that you intended to do in the fashion that you did it? Well, yeah, I did. But then I didn't because I didn't want to get hit. But, you know, because it's my moneymaker, man. I got to keep it sexy. But, man, it's a fight, dude. You know, you never know what happens. And, you know, he came out here to brawl. And we, when I noticed that he was in here for a brawl, I was like, all right, let's see who the bigger pit bull is. So we went ahead and put it all on the line. And turned out I got that punch. Listen, this is the first fight on the card, and I think that it lived up to the hype. Um, what do you have to say for the people out there and everybody else that's inside that division? Hey, uh, just, just better watch out, man, because we're going to be, we, get, we stay ready. I train all day, every day with my coach over here, Cameron DeVille. I thank him every time, man, because he stuck around with me and, you know, put up on my ass for a couple, actually almost 10, 10 years we've been doing this, man, and uh, I, can't, I can't get enough. Can't, can't explain how much I'm so grateful for that. And especially all my ATT family, I want to say hi to my friends and family out there. And, uh, you know, thank all my sponsors. Of course, I want to do that because it's my TV time, man. I got to. You know what I mean? And uh, all glory to God, first of all. And thank all my sponsors. Uh, Chino Martinez out there with Martinez Farming. Thank you, sir. I love you. And uh, with Kaysen Painting, Alan Kaysen out there. Man, without all these people and Josh McVoy, you know, helping me out as well. And then we got a new product coming out. Uh, my homegirl's doing it. It's uh, Alex Sears, great cologne line and stuff like that. I'm sorry that I was spitting all over you here. We're all blood. And hey, this is what we need, though, you know. But, uh, yeah, thank all of them for sponsoring me. And there's another thing I wanted to say, and I always said I'll say it every time I got my TV time. I want to dedicate this fight right here for my grandma. You know, she passed away about three years ago. And I always said, man, if I always got the TV time, I wanted to say it. And I dedicate this to her. And a matter of fact... Matter of fact, you know, I'm dedicated to this fight to everybody who's lost somebody in their life. And whether it's a family member or a close friend, it doesn't matter, man, because that's just hard. It's hard to deal with that kind of stuff, man. And, you know, I, I'm going to go ahead and dedicate this for my grandma and to them and for all of us that go through that kind of stuff, man. May they fly high and God bless everybody. And thank you guys for coming out. Hey, everybody, let's put a round of applause together again for Albert Speedy Martinez. Emotional, honest, heartfelt. That was something hearing from Albert Martinez with Dada 5000. We'll have more coming up right after this. The air we breathe contains only 21% oxygen gas. The other 78% of it is nitrogen gas. Did you know oxygen supplementation can be the most immediate and effective fuel source for aerobic recovery, rejuvenation, and performance? Whether you're looking to break the world record for the 800 meter or simply break the internet, Boost Oxygen makes supplemental oxygen readily accessible. Boost Oxygen. Help is here. Experience good, clean, fun. 
Meet the Clean Team. Cleaning and sanitizing all common areas and high touch surfaces every 30 minutes. Contactless digital menus available at all our restaurants. Screening and temperature checks taken upon entry. Hand sanitizing stations throughout the property. Masks or cloth face coverings required. Physical distancing. Your safety and protection are first priority, which begins prior to your arrival. You'll arrive to a sealed room, exactingly prepared to ensure your safety and protection for your peace of mind. So you can relax and enjoy yourself. More space between slot machines, gaming chips sanitized, as well as all slots, tables, and chairs. We are dedicated to keeping you safe and sound. I was ready to get into a sweet pickup truck. But I said, no, my love. Remember we talked about saving money, our truck wastes too much gas. Always with the saving money thing. If we find an insurance with huge savings, then maybe. I said, does that even exist? So I told them, Estrella Insurance, they have the biggest savings. I like them big. We're the biggest and the best. Get reliable coverage at the lowest prices from top insurance providers. Don't make your next payment without checking with Estrella Insurance first. for our first fight. Al, let's check the tail of the tape. Yeah, uh, one of the things in this fight between Lorenzo Hunt and Robert John uh, Brown Jr. that could be I impactful is the weight difference. Hunt coming in uh, at 203, at Brown at 192. It could have uh, an impact in terms of Hunt being the stronger of the two. To the Trigon now, our ring announcer. Here's Bob Alexander. Now ready to make his way to the cage from the blue corner. Lorenzo, the juggernaut hunt. Lorenzo Hunt is ready here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. A tough customer, Dot off 5000, you know him very well. Definitely, you know, this guy's a true competitor. He stated, Dada, I'm gonna. And now, ready to make his way to the Trigon from the red corner, Robert, Real Business, Brown Jr. Real Business is here in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and ready to fight. A chef by trade. He's used to cooking things up, and uh, he's hoping to uh, create uh, something and make a souffle of his opponent. Exactly. He stated the other day that he's going to preset the oven to 350. <laughs> you know, he's serving up a main dish. Is that a slow bake or is that a... You know, he wanted it to be just right. It was a lot of tension. I'm really eager to see this fight take off, especially from the weigh-ins yesterday. And he is on a stage that he has never seen before because his only match has been a backyard uh, fight and here he is in a setting that is different and one in which he's going to have to keep his composure uh, and perform to the level of where he's at. Exactly. That will definitely be something to watch. He showcased his culinary skills across the United States. That's his full-time job. That's his passion. But at the Trigon, his business is fighting. And he is ready to brawl here tonight. You any questions? How do they look, Dada, to you in terms of intensity, in terms of their preparation? Well, you know, both of these guys, they've trained really hard for the build up to this fight. You know, both of them, Ladies they have a title on their the waist. Cheyenne Ice and Event Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Our next bout is brought to you by BYB Extreme Fighting Series and GetPureNatural.com. This bout scheduled for five three-minute rounds of bare-knuckle brawling in the cruiserweight division. The three judges scoring at cage side, Janelle Mellish, Josh Johnson, and Tom Milstead. 
Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white and red trim. He weighed in at 203.4 pounds. An eight fight MMA veteran, originally from Cleveland, Ohio, now fighting out of Jacksonville, Florida. Here is Lorenzo, the juggernaut Hunt. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with red and green trim. He weighed in at 192.2 pounds. He is 1-0 in bare knuckle brawls from the ATL, Atlanta, Georgia. Here is Robert, real business, Brown Jr. Referee David Baslow with the instructions. Fighters come center. All right, gentlemen, you're given the rules in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck. Ready to fight. Tom, you good? In the Tom? revolutionary Trigon here tonight in Cheyenne, Wyoming. They call it the magic city of the plains. And we're going to see some magic in the Trigon <laughs> here out. We will. And as you can see, this fighting environment does not leave you much room to move. So we'll see how these men navigate it. Um, in this bout. Exactly. Boxing is. Guys, feet on the line. There you go. You ready? You ready? Let's this go, is a gentleman's Fight. sport, but this is not a gentleman's ring. <laughs> good way to describe good. that, Todd, on 5,000. And here we go, underway, scheduled for five rounds, three minutes apiece, but it never goes that long. And the juggernaut's got that open hand style out. Exactly. Yeah, he does. And he's a pretty good defensive uh, fighter. You know, he's very good at slipping punches. A little bravado from him. And you'll see that, I think, as this fight goes on. It can cost him, but he's definitely one that's going to bring the pain. I'll be interested to see if he keeps that style up. First clinch and a back up there from the juggernaut. Both of these men on a stage who said they haven't seen it, and they're taking their time to figure this out, which is really smart on both their parts. They both have pretty good corners that pretty much, you know, prep them for this. Yeah, Will, uh, Willie Kennedy in the corner of Brown. Juggernaut unleashes. He has real business. Brown Jr. in the corner. It can be known as the death corner in the Trigon. You don't want to get backed in there, Dada. You definitely don't. These guys are throwing TNT, and someone's going to get caught eventually. Also, some body work by Hunt. He's a, a very good body puncher, and his trainer, Daryl Hatchett, really emphasizes that with him. Hunt says he trains every day of his life. So he's coming in, and there's no pressure on him whatsoever. He looks like he's in great shape. He's saying that did not hurt me. I'm good. <laughs> he wants to help us with the commentary as the fight goes on. <laughs> Brown hasn't done much yet. Looking on low with that right hand. Clearly, you see that Lorenzo is the most physical and the most stronger of the two. He's waiting, like we said. Brown would like to counterpunch him, uh, get him to make a mistake, and be able to counter him with the left hook or the right hand. I like you're right. He's calculating right now. He's waiting. Whoa. Whoa. Hunt! Trying with that right uppercut, just about connected to the jaw. Brown came close. Hunt also very quick-handed. That's part of the, I think, the his game and he does have a height and reach advantage a little bit slight the reach advantage for sure and he's trying to use that those open hounds are down a little bit now i noticed that yeah. stop the bell guys last few seconds of the round brown tries the combination Hunt oh, wow. Attack and a stumble at the very end of the first round. Was that a punch? 
And yeah. Hunt on his knees for a moment. He looks Let's a little wobbly. Out. He does look wobbly heading back to his corner Doc, in the final they seconds they of the first the round. The question is whether that came from a clash of heads or from a punch. And we'll take a look back on it and we'll get a, a chance to, to take a look. And Whoa. yes, they banged heads, and I mean they really banged heads. That was an yes. unintentional clash of heads, but that hurt Hunt and sent him down. He definitely got the bad deal of that exchange. Wow. Well, that's that's as stark a uh, clash of heads as you will ever see in any yeah. combat right, sport. Incidental. Accidental. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. At the very guys, end of the get first out. round, but the headbutt does... Shake Lorenzo, the juggernaut hunt, just a bit. Stay, stay right here. Guys, take it. How will Hunt react now heading into this next round from that? That was a, right a, On the line. a, a impactful event right. for sure. Round two. Why? I definitely think Ready? that puts Fight. him inside of a position of emergency to get it over with. Interesting. Round two. Calculating, stalking, Hunt on the attack. Stop, stop, back up. Hunt back with uh, up. MMA experience, eight oh. MMA fights, that kind of puts him a little bit above Brown in the sense that he's at least had uh, an experience in front of a crowd and in a little bit more in this setting. So uh, experience-wise, he has a little bit of an edge. Exactly, especially when you look at the dirty boxing. And you, you can't teach that overnight. Look at that defense. Brown unloading. And Hunt defending Dada, you're right. Every single blow, Hunt is there. Now on the attack, go. going for the uppercut. He's had enough. To the chin, Brown is pressed into the Trigon cage. And hurting, unloading the juggernaut. Time and time again. And we saw a moment or two ago, for those of you watching this, that Hunt could pull his head in and hit him. That's something different in uh, this discipline that you wouldn't see in boxing. Exactly. Needs a new mouthpiece. Stay in your corner. Makes a world of difference. Stay in your corner. You okay? You guys ready? In that flurry, yeah, mouth guard got knocked out. Wait. Ready to resume here in Cheyenne. Hunt definitely smells blood on this one. Both of these guys have but it seems like he's such a calm stalker. He is not getting out of control. He is not getting beyond yeah, the game it's, plan. It's a really interesting point, Dave, and, 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 and I think that's behooved him well in this fight because he's got the time to try and go after Brown. Whoa, whoa, big left. Brown shaking a bit, wobbly toward the cage. Whoa. Hunt on the attack again. That left hook of Hunt is an excellent weapon. Couple left jabs, just off the mark. From Brown's standpoint, he's got to make something happen. Definitely do. Seems like those body shots are affecting him now. Brown is bloodied. Looks like it's coming from the nose. Looks a little shaky. Hunt does not. <laughs> Anything but. No, very composed in the ring, and, and you get the feeling he feels like he can get whatever he wants done at any time, taking his time and doing it. Neither man has used the jab much in this fight. They've been effective when they have used it. Good right to the body from Brown. Well, I don't think Hunt's hurt in the least. Seems like Hunt feels that his opponent is prime picking at this moment. Final 10 seconds of the round. Brown in on the attack. Hunt didn't stay on that cage long, did he? On the offensive, there's the horn, there's the round. Good job, guys. Good fight so far. Definitely. These guys both, they came, and they want to definitely get this one over with. Make sure they tuck those in. There's laces in the back. We are at elevation here, Al, 6,063 feet. Yeah, that can have an impact. And absolutely. Another impact is that cut on the left 
head, part of the head of Brown, which may have, whether it came from a, a punch or another clash of heads, we don't know. Dada beyond the incidental headbutt at the end of the first round. Doesn't look like Hunt's been hurt much here. No, he's definitely, he looks like he's ready to go. Like he can uh, go a few more rounds, even though we only have five. Some highlights from what we've seen so far. How, how, how do you have this scored? Well, that's the defense. And Brown did the smart thing by trying to go to the body. And there's where that work in the clinch by Hunt was so effective as he pulled the head of Brown in and used uppercuts and body shots. In terms of being a technician, Hunt is a very good ring technician, and he has done tremendous body work during the course of this fight. Feet on the line. That MMA experience definitely is showing. Yeah, it helped him, and Brown did try and come back toward the end of the round, and there's the body work by Brown. Brown has done some good body work. Third round underway from Cheyenne. I'm surprised it's gone this long. That's a yeah. shock in the Trigon, Donna. Yes, it is, you know. Um, some of these guys, you know, they're just that good that they can evade those corners. And really, both men have shown good defense. Hunt probably more so. Brown oh. Oh. right off the floor. And there's the wow. left and down goes Brown. Three, that was a four. shot. What a punch Six, from the juggernaut. Seven, exactly, that eight. thing came from George. And the real landed. business is in real continue. trouble. Right, but continues. He you got know, back up, that shows a lot about him. He can smell blood in the water now. Another Boy. right hand on the side of the head. Oh. Around, he goes down a second time. This one has to be over, ladies and gentlemen. And the referee has go to push there, back the, the juggernaut as he looked down now. at his prey. What a punch. What a round for Lorenzo, the juggernaut. Hunt to end this one in Cheyenne. He said he was going to come on board, and if you didn't know who he was, you were going to know who he was after the fight, and I think he just made that a statement. And still calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> Even after a victory in the third round. What a punch from Lorenzo, the juggernaut Hunt. More coming up from Cheyenne, Wyoming, after this. What's going on everybody? Daniel Sullivan here with My Diesel Physique and I'm super excited to announce that we have a new program that's going to complement the My Diesel Physique Challenge and it's all about building size and muscle. These methods are tried and true. I currently use these on my NFL football players, MLB baseball players, professional bodybuilders, and UFC fighters. These principles work for them. It's going to work for you. If you're an everyday gym goer and you're trying to build size, strength, and mass and you're just not seeing the results that you want, I have put together a program that scientifically proves how to build that mass, size, and strength with the workouts, with the nutrition. Let me coach you to get you to that next level. Let's build some muscle. We used to travel and go places, not anymore. She's always complaining. Now he just watches TV. I want to go out. I just want a slightly bigger TV. She says it's too expensive. He acts like a know-it-all, but he doesn't even know how much we could be saving with Estrella Insurance and their little prices. Their prices are little, huh? Just like you? Nope, little like you. We're the biggest and the best. Get reliable coverage at the lowest prices from top insurance providers. Don't make your next payment without checking with Estrella Insurance first. The air we breathe contains only 21% oxygen gas. The other 78% of it is nitrogen gas. Did you know oxygen supplementation can be the most immediate and effective fuel source for aerobic recovery, rejuvenation, and performance? Whether you're looking to break the world record for the 800 meter or simply break the internet, Boost Oxygen makes supplemental oxygen readily accessible. Boost Oxygen. Help is here. Great opening fight 
from Cheyenne, Wyoming here tonight. Lorenzo, the juggernaut hunt from Jacksonville, Florida in the third round, takes care of Robert Real Business Brown Jr. Superb performance by him and one in which he, he, he showed us uh, how much that in. MMA experience, eight MMA fights really helped him, I think, in this match. Showed a lot of patience. Bob Alexander. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for both brawlers, please. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming, your referee in charge, David Braslow, calls a halt to the bout at 54 seconds of the third round. Your winner by TKO, Lorenzo the Juggernaut Now, for the first time, we see some emotion from yeah. the juggernaut after yeah. the decision, and he's declared the victor here it's tonight, been, Cheyenne. He's been very stoic up to this point, but this was how he got the job done. Now, that was the clash of heads at the end of round one that we couldn't even tell if it was a clash of heads, but it, that hurt Hunt, but he was able to come back and use those great defensive skills, then turned it into offense, getting inside on that clinch, holding the head of Brown and ripping uppercuts and some good body work as well. Uh, and really, this set the tempo, I think, for the rest of this match. And at that point, Brown was very wary of this kind of power from uh, Hunt. And he was kind of on his back foot for most of the rest of this fight. And Hunt landing big power punches. That was an uppercut that created the second knockdown and ended up winning this fight for Hunt. Let's go to Dada in the Trigon with a winner. Wow, listen, what an awesome performance. You stalked him like he was prey and you took him out. I mean, what is the recipe? for that performance? Uh, it was just, I had to just stay calm. I mean, I know everybody here can fight. Uh, I just wanted to stay calm. He hurt me a couple of times. He was really, really intense. But I just, just stalked him, stalked him, let the pressure build up, wait for my shot. Listen, Robert Brown, he's a very tough guy. You guys give it up for Robert Brown one more time. Listen. Robert Brown was a very tough guy. A lot of individuals would have went out in the first round with the, with the sparks and the bursts that you guys was giving each other. I mean, listen, this right here is the very principles that the backyard was built upon. Hey, once again, let's make a big, big welcome for Lorenzo, the juggernaut, Hunt! The air we breathe contains only 21% oxygen gas. The other 78% of it is nitrogen gas. Did you know oxygen supplementation can be the most immediate and effective fuel source for aerobic recovery, rejuvenation, and performance? Whether you're looking to break the world record for the 800 meter or simply break the internet, Boost Oxygen makes supplemental oxygen readily accessible. Boost Oxygen. Help is here. Experience good, clean, fun. Meet the clean team. Cleaning and sanitizing all common areas and high touch surfaces every 30 minutes. Contactless digital menus available at all our restaurants. Screening and temperature checks taken upon entry. Hand sanitizing stations throughout the property. Masks or cloth face coverings required. Physical distancing. Your safety and protection are first priority, which begins prior to your arrival. You'll arrive to a sealed room, exactingly prepared to ensure your safety and protection for your peace of mind. So you can relax and enjoy yourself. More space between slot machines, gaming chips sanitized, as well as all slots, tables, and chairs. We are dedicated to keeping you safe and sound. We used to travel and go places. 
Not anymore. She's always complaining. Now he just watches TV. I want to go out. I just want a slightly bigger TV, and she says it's too expensive. Oh, he acts like a know-it-all, but he doesn't even know how much we could be saving with Estrella Insurance and their little prices. Their prices are little, huh? Just like you. Nope, little like you. We're the biggest and the best. Get reliable coverage at the lowest prices from top insurance providers. Don't make your next payment without checking with Estrella Insurance first. My name is Andrew Whitney. My fighting name is Andrew Sir Whitney. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. I'm a KC boy. I'm a king among kings and I'm taking everybody's heads off. I was a super high active kid and, and always running around in the streets. My mom couldn't control me very well, so they put me in uh, some boxing classes and it kind of took off from there and I became a two-time Golden Glove boxer. Fighting's pretty much the only time I really feel alive, you know, when I'm just going to work every day or, or, or training people or coaching. Fighting brings out the best of me. It's when I'm 100% happy. This will be my first sanctioned bare knuckle fight. Uh, never did it before, but I got about a thousand street fights under my belt, so I think I'll be good. When I explain that I'm going to be fighting a bare knuckle fight, uh, people say, you know, Andrew, your face, and you don't need extra scars, or you don't do this, or you don't do that. But, you know, I've been doing this since I was a kid, you know, my face has been busted open on concrete before, so I'm not really, I'm not scared of no human being. My life outside of uh, fighting is being a dad. I have a little boy. My kid is my pride and joy, and, and I fight for him, and I fight for my mother. I fight for the whole state of Missouri. I rep hard. If you become a fighter, your mentality is different. Whatever goes on in the world, it's got nothing to do with me. Like, I can always push through because I fight through things. And I'm an Aquarius, so I'm water, and I'll just keep busting through that rock until you give me a chance. That's what fighting's taught me. It's hard work, dedication, just to be a killer at everything in life. When I'm in a cage, my confidence is 100%. I just want to be a world champion. I'm going to do it in the next two years. You guys are going to see it happen. The only thing I know about the guy that I'm fighting is uh, his name is John Birdsong, and uh, it's going to be the last song he's going to sing, so now we'll knock this guy out. So what I would like to say to the world is just pay attention to Fight Night and watch the lights, cameras, and actions. Watch me. Don't watch TV. Welcome back to our BYB Extreme broadcast. We're gonna dive guys a little deeper into the sport and first get into the equipment here. This is the glove that's yep. worn for BYB Extreme. Dot off 5000, you have a lot to do with the exact specifications and how it's modified. Tell us about the glove. Well, these gloves are special. Special for a few reasons. Because we over here at BYB Extreme Bare Knuckle, we care about our fighters. We understand the injuries that are associated with punching. Right? These gloves, they provide stability when you put them on to the point that it gives your wrist that wrist support so your punches don't flicker, you know? And we're the first ones to bring out something like this. So when you look at most programs, they have the blue and the red tape, right? So with this, it actually extends a fighter's career. When you talk about minimizing hand injuries, it's awesome, it's great padding, especially when you're blocking, you catch mm -hmm. it. It's magic. I, I know that just having this on, I've been having flashbacks to my amateur boxing career <laughs> of many, many years ago, and I'm, ready to, I'm ready to get in there. Okay. <laughs> Do you like the construction? How does it feel? It's very good. You know, it's an interesting point you make about, the, uh, you know, we think of the bare knuckles, but we don't, the, the idea of blocking, the idea of protecting hands, uh, it's important, and, uh, and this does that. Fighter safety is number one yeah. priority. Let's get into that. Uh, good segue. So, Al, the injuries of the sport, there's, I think, a perception that BYB Extreme is really violent. It's dangerous for fighters. Sure. You, we see the equipment that's used. These fights never go the full five rounds. No. What is your opinion about safety and BYB? Well, there's been a, a, a number of studies done recently that 
and Dada would be able to speak to this even better than I, but that have indicated the actual number of serious injuries are way, way, way less than you would anticipate. And part of the reason for that, I think, is because uh, part of the injuries that come from uh, combat sports, the repetition of being hit, uh, and in this case, you're being hit less often. Uh, clearly, the, the officials have safety in mind. So, no, no question, bare knuckles is a rough sport. There's no doubt about it. You'll get more lacerations maybe than you might in other sports. But the serious injuries are not on the level that people might anticipate. Hand fractures way down. Concussions are down at BYB Extreme. Right, Dada? Exactly, because when you look at your brain, your brain is inside of a, a bowl like a fluids and connected kinetic tissues. Right. So when you look at getting hit, copy box punch that numbers inside of a boxing match, 800, 900 punches mm -hmm. possibly thrown. MMA, less punches, but you got knees, elbows, so you substitute. Right. Bare knuckles, you know, maybe 60, 70 punches, you know, and you have to be a technician with those because if you throw an incorrect punch, especially if you don't have on a stabilizer for your right. wrist, the fight is over. You're going to break your hand. Perception of the trigon. The fighting area in this sport to you is? Fascinating to me because, uh, you know, uh, for me, what the one of the little revelations of being able to do this, especially with the trigon, the triangle ring that, you know, uh, makes the geography of fighting a lot less. The perception would be that skill goes out the window because it's such a small area. The opposite is true. While, yes, there's brawling, and yes, it makes for more action fights because there is literally nowhere for you to go, we see in, in, repeatedly in these matches that your skill level can help you win. It's just you have to work harder to use that skill level. To that point, Dada, 5,000. I think that's a great question. Skill versus brawling when it comes to BYB. What's the better of the two? If you have skill, it makes for a better brawl. <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. yeah, If you have skill, it makes for a better brawl. And that Trigon is a work of art. It's definitely a star. It's so different than anything that's out there right now. You know, it's the it's the fourth man in the ring. You have your you have you your opponent, the ref, and one of those points. And that Trigon is a little bit of an equalizer, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Because uh, you got to have a game plan. Yeah. You know, and a point of execution. If not, it's going to be a short night at the office like we've seen so many times today. Stay in the middle and avoid the corners, right? <laughs> that's that's, that's corner especially, as we've seen, <laughs> without question. All right, so Dada 5000, this is your sport, your creation, the evolution of the sport. What's happening next? Oh, wow, sky's the limit. Because where, where we're at now, right, as far as perception, the people, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. Guess what? I was there 10, 10 plus mm -hmm. years. So the vision never changed, right? So now we're like transformers, you know, and we're coming together. And now we're literally unstoppable. You know, we revolutionized the way that the world look at extreme reality. And uh, we're moving the needle. And we've made this thing into a phenomenon. We've just added value to it because we didn't create it. History repeats itself, and we're here to stay. How far can this go, Al? What do you think? Well, it's intriguing. I found it a very interesting endeavor to be involved in, in, in announcing it. And I think in our current society, and you hit on it well, um, the needle keeps moving. And this is an interesting uh, endeavor for sure. Great to talk BYB Extreme with you guys. The Hall of Famer. And the founder of BYB Extreme himself, Don Off 5000.
That puts a wrap on some great fighting, Al. And let's look at that first fight with Lorenzo Hunt, the juggernaut, just a little too good, wasn't he? He really was. Uh, you know, he had a lot of bravado, but he backed it up. You know, he was very a terrific defensive fighter who made Brown miss a lot in the, their fight and ultimately had the power to put him away. It was a very impressive performance by him. I love his demeanor and how calculated and cool, well, really cold, right? Donna? He was going in for that victory. In the end, he was really impressive. Definitely, you know, and um, you guys being industry insiders, you could look at a, a fighter prior way in press conference like Mike Tyson said he pretty much determined this fight is already over before you even got us out of the ring and both of those dudes they were on ice they was grilling each other you know and I think the presence was already set and it pretty much gave the juggernaut the edge yeah, and then in the other fight we saw Martinez and Fletcher really it was a brawler in Fletcher against mm -hmm. the technician of Martinez in the end the technician is the winner. It was actually a fascinating clash of styles because Fletcher was able to get a few things done early in the, the early part of the fight, and ultimately it was his lack of defense that um, that betrayed him and uh, the fact that uh, Martinez was such a skilled counterpuncher was just too much for him. Well, thanks so much, fight fans, for joining us for BYB Extreme. For Donna 5000, Al Bernstein, the Hall of Famer, Dave Ryan saying so long.